Have you ever wondered why, despite your efforts, those stubborn extra pounds just won't budge? Or perhaps you are constantly feeling fatigued and sluggish despite seemingly healthy habits. Now join me on a journey to unravel the mysteries of insulin resistance, a silent culprit lurking behind many health woos. In this eye-opening video, we will explore 10 game-changing strategies to reclaim control of your health and bid farewell to insulin resistance once and for all. I'm Dr. Ahmed Tergen. I'm an endocrinologist, a diabetes specialist, and metabolism expert. So, are you ready to embark on a transformational path towards vibrant health and vitality? Well, let's start with combining carbohydrates with protein and healthy fats. Now, why pairing carbohydrates with protein and healthy fats can help? Because it slows down the absorption of sugar into the bloodstream. Now, when you combine these fat, protein, and carbs together instead of just carbs, it provides a sustained release of energy and helps prevent rapid spikes in your blood sugar levels. For example, adding lean protein sources like chicken, fish, tofu, or beans to your meals containing carbohydrates will definitely help stabilize the blood sugar levels. It's not going to prevent the spike because there's some carbs. If you're diabetic, it may spike. But if you're pre-diabetic or just insulin resistant, that's definitely a great idea. Now, you should also choose complex carbs. Why? Because they're composed of long-chain sugar molecules. Of course, it's going to take longer for your body to break them down into simple carbohydrates so your body can absorb. Examples include non-starchy vegetables, for example, or whole legumes such as beans, lentils, chickpeas. Of course, you got to watch the portion size. Don't go crazy about them, right? They still have carbohydrates. They are an important part of diet, the carbohydrates, but consuming them in excess and not moving and exercising will lead to insulin resistance and eventually blood sugar spikes. So it's essential to be mindful of these portion sizes to avoid overloading your body with more carbohydrates than it can handle at once. Now the third is you have to limit added sugars. Now commonly found in processed foods like sugary snacks, desserts, sweetened beverages, they all contribute to insulin resistance, right? There's a lot of metabolic issues that comes with it, even cancer. Now start with reading food labels. Choosing products with minimal added sugars will help reduce your overall calorie intake as well. Now also focus on low glycemic index food. Now glycemic index is a measure of how quickly carbohydrates raise your blood sugar levels after consumption. So foods with a low GI or glycemic index release the sugar into your bloodstream more slowly, leading to a more gradual increase in your blood sugar levels. So educate yourself on prioritizing low GI foods such as most vegetables, whole fruits, legumes, some unprocessed whole grains like things like quinoa can help stabilize blood sugar levels and improve insulin sensitivity in combination with physical activity. Now, you should check my book that include fiber-rich foods, plant-based foods, vegetables, whole grains. We talk about everything and how it affects, how they affect your health. That is at sugarmds.com. It is called The Ultimate Diabetes Book. You don't have to become a diabetic to read the book. If you read it early, you'll probably avoid being a diabetic. Now, soluble fibers, for example, they form a gel-like substance in your digestive tract which slows down the absorption of carbohydrates and help maintain steady blood sugar levels. Now, try to include a variety of fiber-rich foods, right? It doesn't have to be the same thing every day. Now, be very mindful of timing of carbohydrate intake. You have to have it evenly throughout the day. A lot of people don't eat anything during the entire day and they end up binge eating at dinner, especially with high carb meals. That is a recipe for disaster. This approach provides your body not having time to process the energy and store it. However, if you have small amounts during the day, it will prevent large fluctuation in your blood sugar levels, which leads to insulin resistance if too many fluctuations continue to occur. Now, you have to stay active, right? You have to find a physical activity that you like. It is the most powerful tool improving insulin sensitivity, no matter what diet you're on. Exercise will always help your muscles become more efficient at using glucose for energy, because if the glucose is not used in the muscle, it will turn into fat and fat in the muscles will lead to insulin resistance. You have to aim for a combination of aerobic exercise, such as walking, jogging, cycling, swimming, whatever, 
but also some strength training exercises without hurting yourself, along with flexibility exercises such as stretching to help with overall insulin sensitivity. Now you have to watch your weight. You have to. A lot of people come to me after they gain like 50, 60 pounds over their normal weight, but that may be a little too late. You have to watch it every day. It's not obsessive to do so. It is closely linked to insulin resistance, especially your abdominal circumference. Now the next thing is stress, right? Chronic stress can definitely trigger a lot of hormonal changes in your body that will affect your blood sugar levels and insulin sensitivity. So practicing stress reducing techniques could be mindfulness, meditation, deep breathing, taking a nice walk, going to nature, exercise, yoga, whatever, you name it, any hobbies or activities that help you relax and enjoy and reduce your stress levels will be very important. Now, by incorporating these strategies into your daily routine, it sounds hard in the beginning, but your insulin resistance will go down, you're gonna feel a lot better, and all you have to do is small, sustainable changes over time that will lead to significant improvement in your insulin sensitivity and overall well-being. So, please subscribe, share this video, and like this video, and remember to visit sugarmds.com. I'll talk to you later. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. Uh, it, if you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.